some shit on that gangsta, gangsta shit. Yeah. I'm from Compton, Compton, Murderville. You heard these niggas is gangsters. And they kill, rob and steal. My niggas will kill that will for real ain't real. Niggas gon' feel that still. I'm from Compton, Compton, Murderville. You heard these niggas is gangsters. And they kill, rob and steal. My niggas will kill that will for real ain't real. Niggas gon' feel that still. Yo, this is JT, the bigger figure, legendary CEO, tycoon in the game. What it do? The game? That's JC on Taylor. You feel me? From Los Angeles, California. Compton. You did? Santana Block. You know what I'm talking about? I linked up with the game in 2002, February, at a hip-hop summit with Russell Simmons and Louis Farrakhan. You know what I'm saying? He was rapping for Trady and the East Siders. I spotted him. He was a tall cat, you feel me? Had a little grimy look to him, you feel me? And uh, I just had finished doing a project with Daz Dillinger called Long Beach to Filmo. And uh, it did real well in the Los Angeles area, and it kind of opened up doors for me, you feel me? So I was looking to get me an artist from the Los Angeles area, and that's the first artist I grabbed. Dang. Grabbing an artist from Compton, which is another popular area down there, I figured it'd be in my best interest to go ahead and get behind this dude. So therefore, I presented him with an opportunity and presented him with a plan. Basically, I want to do like two albums with you, you feel me? Go shop your deal, do whatever you want to do after that, but these albums going to be on Get Low Records. I ain't got no hella money to give you because I ain't into giving out free money, you feel me? We're going to make money off what we get together, and that's pretty much what happened. I told him I'd fly him back to Fillmore, California. I had a studio and some producers ready to get started right away. He agreed to it. So within a week and a week and a half, you feel me? He was in Fillmore, California. I flew him in, you know what I'm saying? Got him a room at the Holiday Inn, the grimy Holiday Inn, where we do what we do. And uh, from there, you know what I'm saying? I brought Shanti and the homeboy Gazi to the table. You know what I'm saying? To introduce, you know what I'm saying, my new prospect. And uh, everybody was kind of like digging what he had to bring to the table. And from there, it's history. You can catch five or catch me in a CL5. Whatever way, dog, the game get live. Keeping the gangsta in the PD, 50 below. Late night, I'm in Dublin's and I got myself a four. The hood love me. Hood rats gotta hug me. Pop back, spark the bubba. The shit get ugly. Rock the mic anywhere. I ain't talking about a concert, dog. Talking about 10 niggas in Converse, dog. Get it cracking like we out in the yard. And the warden's watching. Only difference is the horse is watching. Skills love to see a nigga roll up on 20s. Hop in that 6 foot. Roll up on Bentley's life I'm a gangster baby from the CPT Run with the pound like I'm from DPG If it's beef you see murder like it ain't no lemon And I represent the P like Russell Simmons I'm a neighborhood superstar Get it right, got it good Okay, it's the black socks who get low We get dough and they yay, they pimp holes And count that we six folk I'm a neighborhood superstar Get it right, got it good Okay, it's the black socks who get low We get dough I know you love to watch me, especially when I'm looking rocky to trade with the broccoli with my handles on a Kawasaki. Handle my jewels with a cuff in my shoes, heavy jacket on my elbow, 50 coats to choose. In my neighborhood, I'm young Bill Gates. Never shuffle the cakes or cover my face or run up in a place. I'm a superstar, thinking my chain, glass bezel and bang, 80 carats on my pinky and ring. Goosebumps when you're speaking my name, cause I'm deep in the game with Tycoon Dane. Hit the boulevard and that new Jaguar While he moved through traffic like that Purple haze, roll rays, the OJs, the gangsta lean So please believe that I keep two G's in my jeans Two gats in my sleeve, two rats in my beam X5, mommy, let's ride Weave in and out of traffic from Compton to Bed-Stuy It's the kid from the far west side Oh, shit 
He know how to do more than flip pies Get money like them stick up guys The Motion 11 licks got the young kid rich for life And I ain't talking about a movie of George Clooney I'm talking about running in your spots with Uzi tucked in the coogee Do me? Nah, truly might lose your lives They say I got 2K2 covered like AI Neighborhood superstar, get it right Got it good, okay It's the black socks, get low We get dough in the yay, they pimp hoes And time that we six four. The Hip Hop Summit actually started in uh, April 3rd, 1997. And it is a result, it, it came as a result of Tupac and Biggie getting killed. And Minister Farrakhan invited all the rappers to his house, Russell Simmons, uh, shit, all the people from an industry. Whoever could fit in the house at that time, that's who was there. And I just happened to be one of the people that got invited. And when I got there, the whole purpose of the meeting was to inform us and educate us to the whole hidden hand behind this hip hop shit. It's a lot of people that want control of this, you know? And when you got powerful people that could sway opinion and sway different things that could happen, I mean, that's kind of dangerous. And them two dudes kind of like, it was set up, man. The shit was just all bad, you know? Pac and Big had whatever issues they had, but it led to their deaths, man. And that's kind of like what the minister was giving us some insight on it. Him and Russell Simmons took it upon themselves to launch the Hip Hop Summit. That led to 2002 February, about eight months later, the second Hip Hop Summit in Los Angeles. This is the first time it's in Los Angeles now. And uh, they invited all the rappers out once again. And Game just happened to be one of the artists there. Now, mind you, there was a hundred and some rappers that's rapping like a motherfucker all in this little, this one confined area that they had in the Forum in Los Angeles. That's where it was at. And, uh, I mean, man, we came down to network. I came to network. I couldn't, I'm not going to say I came down there looking to sign nobody, because I brought eight rappers on my own. But my eye caught, I mean, Game caught my eye. Feel me? I can't lie. He caught my eye, and, you know, he kind of jumped over all my other artists. I had to put money in the dude, you feel me? Because he didn't have no name, didn't nobody know who he was. But I believe that something about this dude, man, there's something about this dude. The first thing that caught my attention was his style and his voice, you feel me? And then after that, it was the look he had, you feel me? The grimy L.A. look. To be honest with you, he looked at like Shine a little bit, but he rapped like Fabulous. <laughs> Just to be honest with you, that was kind of like the thing that, that was deep in my head. Like, man, he kind of, he rapped like one of them boys out there, you feel me? But he was rocking that, he was rocking that East Coast flavor though, you feel me? So the combination of the two is what jumped out at me, you know what I'm saying? And I never really seen no combination like that on the West Coast. Not up in the Bay where I'm from especially not in Los Angeles. I would never thought it would be acceptable, you feel me? But since he was doing it, obviously it was acceptable in his hood, you know, and uh, it caught my attention. I, I put him in the studio for the first time ever, you feel me? His first demo, his first recordings in the lab, and uh, after we did a couple songs, I knew we had it, so we kept on recording. We did like 30 songs. April or May of 2002, um, I gave a, a record release party for Game, Filmo, California. Record was complete. How many songs did We did like 30 songs all together, but I had them only perform maybe four or five songs. And um, we gave the show on Filmo Street at a club called Rosales. And uh, it was also the launch party for the Black Wall Street. You know what I'm saying? We just kept on pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. And then the climax was this party. Kind of nervous, you know? Not really used to getting up on stage performing this shit. And uh, when you see it, you can kind of tell he was kind of nervous a little bit, but I was right there by his side, you feel me? Giving him that confidence he needed, you feel me, to get up there and do what he do. You know what I'm saying? He naturally rap, but when it's time to perform, you gotta have a certain performance format, you know? And uh, he did good at the show. You know, the, the response was real good. You know, that's when I knew that it's gonna work. What, he got on one of your beats? Yeah. Oh, shit, I can lay that. Yeah. Yo, I'm gangster. You can tell by the rag. Pull my pants up. You can tell by the setting. Oh, let's do it. Mm. Yeah, I'm yeah. just trying to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. try to freestyle mm. this one. Oh, That's okay. it. I'm gonna try to freestyle this one. I ain't gonna even double this one, Sean. All right. I'm gonna just freestyle because I ain't gonna even remember it. I'm gangster, nigga. You can tell by the rag. Alright, let's do it. Platinum producer over there, Sean Tizzle. 
<laughs> Fuck it, yo, who the best city see on the west? By far it's me, and my car is a continental T, and my broad in that continental suite, with the armadillo rolling up duchess like that motherfucker, beef with the kid, click clack motherfucker, let them bullets burn your six pack motherfucker, get jacked motherfucker, when you come to Compton, get a Mac motherfucker, when you come to Compton, I walk through Times Square, hold my Johnson, or call Styles and Jay to make a run through Yonkers, I got D blocks like the locks, and these glocks like the pop, and nigga I like your watch, so roll over and you can die with your jury, first nigga Take the stand and testify, he gon' die with the jury And I might kidnap the judge Or send a team to lean on the prosecutor So the DA budge Alright, let me count, let me count though All these is 116 Go on, 116, we got a classic Now That's what's up. You better catch us while we, hey oh, Catch man. us while, cause boy when the product get to coming out Shit go, price is going through the roof <laughs> Get your wholesale Get this wholesale wise available, <laughs> man. Wholesale, Tell them, man. All the time, nigga. We got kids to feed. Need that lunch money, Whoa. buddy. Whoa. Whoa. And they need it. Oh, that's big business. Niggas Ready? know. Babysitting yeah, feeds in the whole mind. The game was naturally dope. He was naturally gifted. But he didn't really, he wasn't never used to the studio life. He didn't know how to do doubles. He didn't know how to shorten up his verses and make them. 16s instead of rapping for two minutes straight or a minute and a half straight. So we had to teach him basically. Sean T, I give credit to Sean T for producing a project. I really only came in on a limited basis. Like, I just wanted to make sure that my money was getting spent right. I come in, you know, we wrote about two or three songs together. But the majority of the work he did on his own. Sean T basically and guys, he was teaching him how to do his doubles, teaching him how to get his course lines organized and pretty much just make the shit song format. Crazy thing that happened when game came to Filmo, uh, a day or two being with us, you feel me? Somebody got shot up on the block, you feel me? I mean, he should have been used to that, you feel me? It goes on everywhere, but uh, that was probably the craziest thing that happened, bringing him to the hood. Then after that, you know, we just really was recording, doing our thing, you feel me? After we finished the songs, I pretty much wanted to set up a live performance, you know, and the live performance was something that gave him a chance to showcases talent into the whole hood you feel me everybody can hear about this new dude i've been bragging about that i brought you feel me from Compton, california and they can see us really do what we do you know what i'm saying and that's kind of like how it all came together on that end what i really did though to create a major buzz for game though was i bought some unused songs off the Nas Escobar, you feel me? Nas had some songs, you know, he worked with a lot of DJs doing songs that never got used or whatever. And a friend of mine had a line to get a good price on about nine, ten of them songs. I bought them songs and I really didn't know how should I release it. Um, once I got the songs, once game songs was finished, I say the quickest way that I can get a buzz on this dude is put a mixed CD together. And instead of just making it a him by itself, I took eight Nas songs, and eight game songs, blended them together, and put, called the QB to Compton. We pressed up about 2,000 copies. We put an ad in a double XL. I started a new company, Black Wall Street, that was strictly marketing, management, promotions, and distribution. And the game project was my first project. We put that out. Within two, three months later, Dr. Dre and them came and got him. We never got to release the underground album. He had already got signed. Fuck it, yo, who the best MC on the West? By far it's me, and my car is a Continental T, and my broad in that Continental Suite, with the Armadale rolling the guts, it's like that, motherfucker. Beef with the kid, click, clack, motherfucker. Let them bullets burn your six pack, motherfucker. Get jacked, motherfucker, when you come to Compton. Get a Mac, motherfucker, when you come to Compton. I walk through Times Square, hold my Johnson, or call Styles and Jay to make a run through Yonkers. I got these blocks like the locks, and these blocks like the pop, and nigga, I like your watch, so roll over, you can die with your jury. First nigga take the stand and testify.
testify, he gon' die with the jury. And I might kidnap the judge. I send a team to lean on the prosecutor so the DA budge. I got niggas that arrive for a grand, so handle my rock like Earl Man and Golda. You can die where you stand. You got his back, you can die with your man. I'll run now, I'll let you draw for about 30 seconds, then you done you dead. Know this GL shit, we got G's on the line. All G's on the squad, all week on the grind. And if you doubt that, step up, cause we ain't hard to find street kinks in our prime, untouchable street crime. You know this GL shit, we got G's on the line. All G's on the squad, all week on the grind. And if you doubt that, step up, cause we ain't hard to find street kinks in our prime. You wanted to come and try. try, try. Bar release QB to Compton as only an underground mix CD just to get the buzz going. When I did an ad for it, it made Game look like he was really somebody coming up out of Compton because he was not Escobar. How the fuck could something like that happen, you feel me? But that was really JT, the bigger figure doing my marketing thing. I didn't call Columbia, I didn't get permission. Fuck all that. It was strictly about business, you feel me? I was making my investment tangible, you feel me? And whenever you do marketing and promotions and you cr cross promote somebody new or somebody established, that just opened up the door a little bit more easier, a little bit more faster. And his talent that God blessed him with allowed him to stand, you know what I'm saying, stand tall. So when Dr. Dre and D Mac and all them people that, you know what I'm saying, started coordinating with him, heard him, it was like, man, this guy got it. He's from Compton and he's a free agent. Game basically took the songs that I did for him, hooked up with a manager named D Mac. D Mac, I guess, was cool with Puffy and them or come up out that Puffy bad boy camp or whatever living in la but had that connection with bad boy also a connection with dev jam and kevin lyles and them d max started shopping the games album that i done as a demo to get him a deal um they took it to at the map i guess after a certain amount of time took it to at the map and somebody at the map was liking it rung it to dr dre they locked him in that's pretty much what happened he started shopping his songs as soon as he left Phil Moe, he was on his way going to shop. Because the songs I had was for me to do what I had to do in my hood. Get low records in Black Wall Street. You feel me? Them is my company. Yeah. Game represents Black Wall Street, and he got it as a label now. See, that come from me, though. Look. Look, if the Denali outside, I might be there. Black hoodie, black nine, black wifey ass. Rock guns like caddy trucks, keep a spare. You see the lump under the iceberg fleecing, yeah. When the beef cook, I'ma put the piece to your head. And if you see a white truck, that mean your sheets is dead. Then I'm going, going back, back to the block to dump the bucket and jump in the drop. Niggas know I'm good with the Glock. They call me Chick Hearns, cause if the game or not, I'm calling the shots. Turn me off. Turn me off, rewind it. Is this a warm up anyway? It's my warm up. Catch me in the lake and warm up like Derek Fisher. It's Compton, dog. And niggas still got attitudes. Guns like caddy trucks, keep respect. See my mop under the iceberg fleecing, yeah. Then when the beef cook, I'ma put the beast to your head. And if you see a white truck, that mean your sheets is there. When I'm going, going, back, back to the block. Better check my resume. Why'd you wanna step to me? That's how it gotta be. Father wasn't there for me. Losing my mind. I think I need some therapy. Is that you? But this black socks and you can't fade <laughs> One thing I can say about the game is that he's a dope rapping motherfucker. That's what I can say. The nigga's raw, naturally. He just spit and write that shit. You feel me? Because if he was whack, I wouldn't have never put my money behind him. <laughs> QB the Compton was the first thing that the public got to see or hear of the game, and they seen him standing next to Nas Escobar. So it automatically gave the people a level of looking up to him kind of like. And maybe that played a humongous part in the reason why Aftermath and Interscope came and got him so fast. I mean, remind you, he been living in Compton his whole life. Been rapping. Nobody came then. They didn't come till they seen what JT was doing in the Bay, because I'm known for motherfuckers coming to the Bay and making something happen. Just ask Daz Dillinger, ask Juvenile, ask Master P, and if Tupac was here, you would be able to ask him. He got his game from the Bay Area. Period. Man, the Bay Area, if you just take Master P and Tupac and stop right there. Tupac took it to the top of the game 
and Master P took it to the top of the independent game. So if you got the, the top rapper coming out the bay, and then you got the top grinder coming out the bay. Now Master P ain't on the scene right now, but goddamn, you got to admit, that motherfucker built up a hell of a thing, you know what I'm talking about, a hell of a company and a hell of a lot amount of money in a small amount of time fucking with this Bay Area. And he from New Orleans, but he came to the Bay to get his money. When people see you doing something for yourself, they support you in the Bay. I don't know what it's like nowhere else around the country, but I do know in the Bay, if people see your efforts, they gonna fuck with you. And when they see me pushing this game, boy, they was like, he's nice. The Bay was fucking with game. The Bay is the game's first fan that he ever had is from the Bay. You dig what I'm talking about? San Francisco, Fillmore first. And then, every, and then spreading from there. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? This is my boy from Compton. He came all the way from Compton to Fillmore now. Give it up for your game, man. The kids got him third. And there's the Eagles and the Hulk. And the whole fucking drum on top. Pretty much. Not that he came to me. I'm not gonna put it like that, because that would be false. We just kind of like mutually negotiated out doing a little underground mix CD called Live from Compton. You did. A lot of my homies wanted to get them on their album, so you know we coordinated some sales for them to come back and make some money and you know show that love that we've been showing the baby. We show love, man. We ain't no hater type niggas. You feel me? Even when we winning, we still some cool niggas. And even when we losing, we still some cool niggas. So that's my advice to the game, nigga. Be one way. Cause if you broke and hungry at the bottom, nigga, it's a lot of niggas, man. They came and went, man. Yeah, game's personality is very different now. You know, I mean, anybody who could be vibe with Dr. Dre, 50, Eminem, and then right about now, you would have to just have a super humble heart not to be cocky and not to be arrogant and not to be boastful a little bit. Because your whole life you be waiting for your big break and then when it happened, you know what I'm saying, it's overwhelming sometimes, you know. But uh, when I first met Game, though, he had a little bit of... Uh, I think he had his, I think he was practicing his uh, cockiness back then a little bit, you know what I'm saying? He couldn't be cocky with me, but he could be cocky with everybody else, you know? But game kind of like just got to learn that part that, you know, just because you shining in the rap shit, man, you got to still be humble, man. Because the same people you meet on your way up, you meet them on your way down. And guess who told me that? My mama, Pearl. That's who told me that. Stands up, hold they dick. Bitch, nigga, sit down the pit. What type of nigga is you? I'm the type to pack a cat a few. Pull out the pop, simply cause I'm mad at you. Real gangsta stand up, hold they dick. Bitch, nigga, sit down the pit. What type of nigga is you? I'm the type to pack a cat a few. Pull out the pop, simply cause I'm mad at you. Y'all niggas see me when I come through, and they no denying that them big motherfuckers is 25 swinging in and out of white line. Six double low, do zero. I'm feeling like the streets is mine. Mine's hustle, mucho the narrow heats can find. See more four guys than form and how we combine. Hit me beat, I'm a lease in mine. And I won't stop busting to the past of the seats recline. The kid roll with a greasy knot. Come through and blast. I return shots like off the ass. You do the math. Ten shots, ten dead bodies. Fuck being sorry. Ain't nothing but a gangster party. And I make sure ain't a nigga surviving. Shoot up the ambulance. Make sure it ain't a nigga there to revive him. And the game ain't trying to win Fuck your war, so keep that low ass horn And that nail arm strong, nigga Real gangsta stand up, hold they dick Bitch, nigga, sit down the pit What type of nigga is you? I'm the type to pack and add a few Pull out the pop, simply cause I'm mad at you Real nigga stand up, hold they dick Bitch, nigga, sit down the pit What type of nigga is you? I'm the type to pack and add a few Pull out the pop Simply cause I'm mad at you Trust me dog, ain't shit you can put in your rap Better make 
fuck you a gangster, you a bitch and that's that Niggas thinking I retire my truck, put the guns back in the holsters Cause I weave through traffic in a roaster But that don't stop the heater from banging On me coming through, dropping all your niggas with three in the chamber Keep two Mac-10s when I'm rolling, one in the changer One when I push the buttons right next to the cup holder Y'all, we can get this shit over I got ten on the game, let's say the Lee Harvey crack your brain Ain't gotta look over my shoulder, I'm good with the aim Good with the handle, and the bullets good with the blood Stains. And the corner's real good with that pickup A1 good with the coffee cleaning They can get the rest of that shit up Cause I kill like the hiccups Two at a time Put your niggas next to each other How I do them in line Real gangsters stand up, hold they dick Bitch niggas sit down to piss What type of nigga is you? I'm the type to pack a cat a few Pull out and pop Simply cause I'm mad at you Real niggas stand up, hold they dick Bitch niggas sit down to piss What type of nigga is you? I'm the type to pack a cat a few Pull out and pop Simply cause I'm mad at you Come through when a big boy Lead a bullshit at home If beef cooked, then I'm bringing the chrome If I die, then I'm leaving a clone But if I live through the trauma one more time Then them boys gotta dig When I think about who shot me, I'll, I'll listen, listen to Big When I'm rhyming on the roll, I'll listen to Jig Bump knives off that purple, sitting on the block And when I'm loading up them clips, I'll listen to Pac I'll send me with me like Eddie Murphy Got more guns than F-A-B-O-L-O-U-S Got jerseys <laughs> Cuff in my sleeves, when the funk is on, we bobbing and weave. Been a hustler to the bone, my niggas knowing this song. We run a city from phones, when we come for your cone. Keep my feet planted, stop it and stare. When I cop it and stare, the first nigga on your block to be a billionaire. They call me Rowdy from Killer Caddy the OG. And when I'm counting my pennies, them niggas low key. The homies know me. I'm like a monumental factor. When niggas act up, I bring the double two street. Back up in flow three, while I'm riding riddles. It's confidential when we writing on some instrumentals. Loving the game, while Mr. King, deliverer, I reign superior Standing by the burgundy Bentley with the champagne interior Gangsta leaning in my Air Force Doches This the West Coast, need a bird, I got Jose A high, I got haze and X pills in my Doches And a truckload of guns off of Pico and Roseway Feel like JT in the old days Nigga from Killer Cali to smoke weed and listen to the OJs Take trips to San Jose and Cavier Then I'm going back to Cali like LL and 88 Dog, I got crazy weight, 11-5, no cheaper ass Dash with bricklayers and I'm the street sweeper Blaze niggas in the garden like all Wallace Three will off your block in a six four Impala And I got tour guys that'll show you around for fifty dollars So the next time you visit California, holla well, My claim to fame is grinding That's my number one claim to fame The number one underground CEO in this shit Over a hundred albums released and it's all about money Ain't no fucking game, man, get low records, man I started that when I was 16, niggas wasn't even thinking about companies Feel me? I got over a hundred albums in my catalog, man. You ain't, you probably only seen one or two or three of them. Some of y'all that's watching this is the first time you ever even met a motherfucker like me. You feel me? I come from up under that E42 short. You know what I'm saying? Them is my big homies. Them is the people who I was trained up under. E42 short. Rapping Forte. You dig? Being the youngest out the clique, though, I wanted the money. See, I'm talking about I ain't in this shit for the fame, man. I don't buy big cars and jewelry. I stack up money, man. You feel me? Safe deposit boxes. I like to go count it, man. And rah, you dig what I'm talking about? It's about paper, man. And my hustle is real. And, 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 and besides my hustle, this rap shit, I do that too, though. You dig? But I was waiting until the proper time before I really just display what I have. You dig? Because I want the money right now. I do have a few flaws in my hustle, though, and I'm working on it right now. You dig? Because next time I'm going to have a nigga sign one of them contracts, wherever you ass go, I'm going to be getting a check up out of all that shit. But I ain't a scandalous motherfucker, though, you feel me? I wasn't trying to be, you know, having my hands in somebody's pot because didn't nobody know the future. If that's the case, I would have had him sign a contract like that. But the thing is, you just don't know, you feel me? And I work with at least 20, 30 different artists. So it's better for me to make a deal that will allow me to own the albums that I do with them so no matter where they go, because it ain't no friendship in this business. There is no loyalty. I didn't know the game. He met me one day, 10 days later, he getting a whole album done. That's business. That's it. You don't owe me nothing, I don't owe him nothing. And I do want to speak on this part of the debate, too. This is what I want to say so y'all can see me real clear. It's like this. Motherfuckers come to the Bay Area, still our slang, still our formats, still a lot of our blueprints. Now, parking lot pimping comes from the bay. You dig? 
Jay-Z did a song called Parking Lot Pimpin' on the Dynasty album. He didn't steal that. He just basically acknowledged it. But then you got guys like Memphis Fleet who came to the Bay and seen Get Low Records as the biggest underground thing cracking. Then he tried to come back to New York and say he's Get Low Records. That right there is bogus. Dig? And Memphis Bleak, if he's watching this, he know I done got at him four to five times about it. And that last time he came to the Bay, he knew it was serious, so he took his hat off. Like, man, these niggas not playing out here. JT and them niggas started Get Low Records. I'm Memphis Bleak, we want to start it on the East Coast. Do your thing, my nigga, get your money. I had to just throw that in there, because it's real, it's real, it's real life. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs>